Okay, now Esteban Semilla, ja? <lacht> also Stefan, äh, auch äh, riesengroße Grüße. Wir sehen uns am Wochenende für die Aimbung Sessions und <lacht> neue Season, <lacht> ja? <lacht> Auf jeden Fall. Okay, now for me, uh, you ask questions both of us. One of you, could you please explain or tell something about the red sand palm healing hands? No. I can't, because we don't have much time, firstly, and secondly, um, yes, sometimes I talk about the red sand palm openly, today I don't, it's not because of you, us. I can talk to you in private, no problem, but the healing hands in red sand palm, um, they're an uh, internal, um, like, thing, I mean internal, like, I don't speak it very publicly too much, yeah, and, um, All what I can say is that it comes after the second period of the Qigong. So, the, you know, the uh, Qigong set has three parts. And once you are at the second part and go towards the end of the second part, the he uh, healing hands appear uh, or reveal from there. But more I can't say about it. And um, maybe one, one last addition. So it's not you healing someone. This is the only thing you, you should know. It's not you and your hands healing someone. Yeah? It's what you let happen through you. And be like being able to come there, or how is it possible to come there? It is through releasing again. Releasing. Yeah? So, again, this is uh, a topic what I don't like to talk too much publicly. If there is a sign i will but right now until now this uh, i think answer is enough so and he asked you why you became so soft <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> actually esteban i really don't know exactly what you mean with in a soft way maybe you can uh, write it down and explain more detail what you mean yeah because uh, in wudang shan i had many experiences yeah With hey, this together really with cool. other people. Really yeah. Hey, so we need to talk one day about this. Yeah. Do a podcast about the build up. How we build up this whole thing in Mount Fudan. Yeah. This is a really good <laughs> story. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it would be great when you write it down uh, more concrete. Chik -chak Pablo Salas. Pablo Salas. Wulung. Panju. So <laughs> <laughs> Wulung Panju, you know. No, uh, Five Dragons. It's uh, within our discussion. Next time. Next time. Because we, we planned this already. We planned this that we want to talk especially only about the five dragons. And uh, for that now, that time when we do this, we will not, um, uh, you know, discuss any other questions. Just we will just do this and yeah. then we will uh, public, publish it. And um, this will be a topic only about the five dragons and um, yeah, our own experiences and the historical or legendary uh, stories and how to go through those five dragons and what they mean. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Margie. Okay. I think this was Sorry. answer enough, right? No, no. But next <laughs> no. time we, we will try to answer also your question. Uh, what means silence, silence and uh, how to understand this? Because silence is, uh, is also basically... But actually... Everything and, yeah. what we talk is the opposite of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, I think that the first answer was better than what we will say later and what yeah, we have yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Then we have... Here, yeah. AI, hey, what's going on? Hello again, yeah? Okay, what is WDP for you? We answered this already, AI. I think you don't watching our videos, huh? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it, ah, okay, no, he has a specific question here. Is it a system or a style, or are you using principles for any style, system, and life? And do you believe in styles or systems? First of all, I believe in <coughs> Tao. I believe in the power of Tao. So in the energetical world, prior to matter. Then I believe in 
information given from Tao. And I believe that people born in this world or creatures born somewhere else can purely express Tao. These are the four things I believe because you asked, do you believe in styles or systems, right? In styles and systems. But, but these four things is what I believe. So now if you ask yourself, what has this to do with my question? It has a lot to do because to me, everything, everything comes from there. And in the third thing, information, when I say information is given, this is the principles. So this is where I believe. So again, Tao, first thing, Tao. Then the energetical power level, like the, the power of Tao itself. You can call it today the angels. You can call it like uh, Yi, not Qi, Yi. And everything what happens in the astral world. This is the second what I believe too. The third one, information, is given from the Tao through those second level into the fourth level, which is the manifested matter, in our case, human being, receive this knowledge which are the principles also not i don't speak only about our 10 principles now but generally from principles so this is what i believe in therefore everything else i don't believe in i don't believe in styles i don't believe in systems i don't believe in um wdp if you want so i don't believe in shazam I believe in those four things, but if Shazam, for example, expresses itself through those four, then I believe, then automatically it's within my belief. If WDP as a community expresses itself on the fourth level, expresses itself fully and purely towards Tao and as Tao, then I believe also in that. But like basically um, there are no styles, there are no special yeah, techniques in my opinion. There are only information coming and going. That's, this is also what happens with me and what, with my teachings. There are many things that are just coming and flowing, continue yeah. to flow. I learn Different. That's why I'm not fixed into styles. I learned from this teacher and then from this teacher. I had my teachers also when they said I should only stay with them. I would. I stood with them only. And then there were teachers. They were more open. They all encouraged me to go and train more sanda. And then there, there were another teacher who encouraged me to train modern wushu. I did that. And then. Um, our first Sifu, also your Sifu, Dragoslav Kostic, one of the most open-minded uh, Kung Fu teachers I have met. So he was always open-minded and always said, okay, explore, ask, question. This is what I did. But um, I'm not fixed into that. I learned things from DVDs. I learned things uh, back then. VHS cassette. No, no, <laughs> you know, sure, must be, must what, be. What, how is this called? Like oh, the yeah. tapes. Video tapes. VHS. Yeah, v v v H v v VHS. <laughs> or, you know, like we had these, uh, like we didn't have teachers who teach those things, so we used that things when for I was sure, young, for you sure, know. For sure. So, um, some uh, forms and all of that. So, because why I learn from everywhere? Because I see only these four within all those uh, expressions. I see only that. I see only Tao. Dao's power, Dao's information manifested. These are the four things I see. And I don't make borders, let's say, to this master I don't go because he doesn't belong to my style. To this teacher I don't go because he's not from my lineage. If I would believe into lineages, maybe I would think that way. But I believe into one Dao and into his power, and into, well, I say his, but it, you can't say he, she, or it to that. Mm. Um, 
uh, into Tao's power, I believe into Tao's information, and I believe into this giving into the expression in us. Yeah. So there is no border and limitation within that. There is no limits within um, seeing that, or where I see it and where not. Therefore, this cup, this tea cup here, can teach me Everything. as my grandmaster. Long Jinju taught me things. Same. Because I believe that the Tao expresses itself everywhere as one. Not somewhere higher and somewhere lower. Yeah. I don't believe in that. Yes. Therefore, I'm open to learn from my students. I'm learning from my students since the beginning of my first student. And I learn from DVDs. I learn from masters, from teachers, from everywhere. I don't separate this because I see everything is coming from the one source. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And the good thing <laughs> is that somebody who believes in styles, because everything comes from the one, he gets the styles. He yeah. gets the fixed, closed exactly. structure. Exactly. So he lives in this. And one thing this we should think. Self limitation. Yeah, That's and yeah. Th so he, this person who want to have this tradition, this style, gets exactly this from the Tao to be just in this. Exactly. This is also given from the Tao. From the Tao. Yeah. And at the same time, when we talk about to be in a flow, be like water, my friend, or a Tao father, and yeah, but <laughs> I can't see beside what I am doing the same then mm. I'm not in a flow. When mm. I deny mm. the thing mm. beside me and say, no, this is not tradition, the true, yeah, or the this is way. not the true way, yeah, yeah. then I deny, actually, exactly. Tao, this would mean him, Tao yeah, would make exactly. a mistake. Because the styles and systems are within the 10,000 things which come from the yes, same force yes. uh, and same source too. Yes. Right? So the tradition is for the person who needs the tradition in the life. Yeah. The one who wants to be free gets to be free. Also, mm -hmm. both uh, get from the Tao the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you say the last thing again? But it was the door. The thing what uh, the one be free? Yeah. the one who needs and wants to live tradition gets yeah. the tradition from the Tao. Yeah. And and who want to free himself gets this gets this. <laughs> both from the Tao. Oh, a beast, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 This was the <laughs> first to yeah. yeah. And I believe yeah. yeah a lot of people want to see another teacher of you on your shirt. <laughs> another teacher? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Good up pro. Good up pro. Noch nicht ausmachen. Nee, nee, ich mache Zoom. You see that? Yes. Can you read it now? Yes. Zack. Hi.